this is how to set a death clutch. Now, first thing that you do is just take this little lever with, that has a spring. Take it, let it go. Don't just let it whip right off because that can come back and stab you in the wrist. Then just open up the jaws. And there's this little trigger. Then there's this notch right here. And there's this longer part. A lot of people, they just, what they do is they take it and they put the whole thing over. Except you don't want it to do that because then it could close up like that. It could get caught in the jaws. Like that. And you don't want that. Or it could get caught up in the gopher run. So like then the jaws won't close at all. So just take the little part, put it up, then just kind of put it down on the jaw, then bring it over, place it on top of the spring, then there's this V, then there's this hole in the bottom that's on the spring, just put it in there, then what I do is to make sure that it doesn't close or anything, instead of just going like that, I hold back the trigger and everything, then just, then you spin it uh, counterclockwise, if it's, if you're holding it like that, be counterclockwise, but if you're, yeah, so just counterclockwise, then it's set. Now I'll go for it, it's not going to slide this whole thing over. So, what I do is just hold this down, then slide it back a bit. Now as you can see, it's the slightest thing. And it'll set off. Now just like let go of the spring, put the notch on the jaw, put the trigger like that. As you can see I didn't go like that. That's just because I just set it a quicker way. Slide it back. And you got it. Well that's how to set a death clutch. And thank you for watching this video.